Hi there, my name is Jacopo and I'm one of the founders of Dockin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the mail merge functionality to create multiple versions of the same document. Um, so in this example, I've taken a service contract and uh, a Google Sheets table uh, with a database of uh, prospect clients and signed clients, uh, as well as a, a tab with uh, our own company information, always fake travel. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to uh, export this data from my Google Sheets in order to reuse them across my uh, Google Docs document. So uh, as a first thing, I'm going to uh, launch my docking extension and I'm going to go on my export data section. Once I've done that, I click on export new data and I select my destination. So I want to send my info to uh, my contract document. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna create new ranges to export. So the first one, I'm gonna call it client database and I'm going to select all the cells that I'm interested in and I'm gonna update my selection and I'm gonna use my first row as a header. This is gonna be very useful uh, so that I will be able to use these headers as placeholders within my document. I'm gonna click on create and I also want to create a second range with some data that stays always fixed and I'm gonna call it company info. So this is our own company information. And same, I'm gonna update the selection to the cells that I selected and using the first row as a header. So once I've created the ranges that I want, I can export this data to my document. So once this is done, I'll be able to use those ranges within my Google Docs. And so for example, here in the service providers, I'm gonna add my own company info. And so I'm gonna use my company name and I'm going to add also our address. And uh, so this information stays always fixed uh, unless we were to change it somehow. Uh, but for my uh, client information, I want to create a version of this document for each line of the database that we have seen here. So for each line of that, I want the information to be different. And so to do this, I'm going to go on my merge, merge section and I'm going to select a table. So in this case, I'm choosing my client database table and I can enter my client information uh, within my document. So for example, here, uh, instead of the name of the client, I'm gonna enter the company placeholder as well as their address. And same, for example, I could also add the payment amount here, I could enter the contract value. And uh, uh, once I've entered all the uh, info that I want, I can now move to the following step, which is the one of creating a version of the document for each row of my database. So here I can select the first row where the creation is gonna start. So from row number two, up until the last row that I want to create my automation for. So I could stop at line nine, but in this case, I wanna go all the way to the last line. And I wanna create one document per each row. So each row is gonna have a separate contract. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna give the name contract. I'm gonna choose the output type, I want a PDF, and I can create a new email. And what I can do now is that I could send each version of the document to the corresponding client by entering the placeholder email. Because in here, with the header email, I had entered the email of each of our customers. So once I've done that, I can save and I can finally create the documents. The documents will be created uh, one by one. So I'll have a different version for each client and each version is gonna be sent by email uh, to each of them. So that's it. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed our demo and let me know what you think in our comments. Thanks.